of the outstanding qualities of the Roland GM70 is the wealth of MIDI uh, controller sources available from the GM70. And so by using the GM70 and the GX13 together, we're able to generate both the modern 13-pin control signals for the VG99 in this example, and then also generate a lot of MIDI controller signals that we're going to use to control parameters in the GR300 emulation of the VG99 in real time. And this allows us to duplicate you know, almost all the controls that you would have on a Roland GR300. So uh, the basics are already covered. We have filter cutoff from the guitar, resonance from the guitar, and uh, modulation depth, just like it would be if you were using an authentic vintage GR300. Then in addition, we have a foot pedal plugged into the back of the uh, Roland GM70 and EV5, and that's going to be used to control vibrato rate. So we're, we're controlling depth from the guitar. We're going to be controlling rate uh, with the foot pedal. And then we have two foot switches hooked into the back of the GM70, foot switch one and foot switch two. And those are assigned to pitch A and pitch B. And just like you have those pitch foot switches on a vintage Roland GR300, this will allow us to do, uh, for pitch A, we have it assigned for up an octave. And for pitch B, we have it assigned for up a perfect fifth. Kind of get that uh, King Crimson kind of sound out of it. And then we also have a Roland FC100 hooked up to the GM70, that's optional. And the uh, control foot switch on the FC100 is assigned to duet mode. So when we use those uh, pitch switches A and B to uh, pitch the guitar uh, up either a fifth or an octave, we can also go into duet mode. And then the optional EV5 input on the FC100 uh, foot pedal has been assigned to pedal bend. And this is one of the effects inside the VG99 that lets you do polyphonic pitch bend with a pedal. So this is a, a, a really powerful controller system.